Hey guys, it's uh, Quinston again, and uh, I hope you liked that, uh, you know, win intro video, which I made. Um, even if you didn't like it, doesn't matter, I'm still going to use it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to discuss today is, I think discuss in the previous tutorial, but I just want to get a bit of, you know, different viewpoint. So, we did the link list in the last tutorial. So, in this one, I'm going to cover the circular link list, and as you can see, there's not a lot of change in it it's uh, almost the same thing except a few things change um and i don't want to type it out because it's redundant and not required let me just tell you like if you haven't seen the previous tutorial i'll link it down in the description you can just go out and check it it's not a big deal okay so what we did in the last tutorial was a link list so we did this static node current static node temp root all that stuff and then we came over here in the add nodes function or, or I, I should say method and we checked um, this if root is equal to equal to null node the root is node this node right over here so um, and and we, we last time we um, mentioned this node dot next node is null but this time we are making it circular and what does circular mean essentially so essentially circular means that if you're at the end of the link list, okay, suppose there are about five nodes and you are at the end of the link list, then the last node will point directly to the first one, that is the root. So every last node will point to the root. Simple, right? Yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Um, so that's all. And, and instead of writing node.next node is equal to null, we write node.next node is equal to root. So root dot next even if I write node whatever this is the same thing anyway uh, then if if this is only if the root is equal to equal to null that is equal to null else we have this part over here that is if uh, we go through the entire thing and here in the previous um, example we checked that current dot next node is equal to is not equal to null but in this we're gonna check current dot next node is not equal to root now why do we not use current is not equal to root because obviously if we use current is equal to not equal to root you know current is equal to root over here so that's that this will never execute so we use this other you know method and and then when we get to that part over there you know what happens then and also then the same thing like over here instead of doing node dot next node is equal to null we do node dot next node equal to root Simple. Every la every new added node will point from the next to the you know root. It's that simple. And there is absolutely no change in the you know the insert uh, thing because you know everything is taken care of. And that I, I will prove that. Don't worry. We will prove that everything is taken care of. And don't worry about that. This is the insert function. In the delete function, well, there is a few uh, amount of changes because, well, um, when you delete the root, okay, I mean, there's no change in the else part, but when you delete the root, okay, when you delete the root, there is a problem because there is no other root available. And in the previous one, we just did root equal to root dot next node, but in this, you have to change a few things. Uh, I mean, you could just go ahead and, I mean, this thing is even redundant, uh, possibly, because there's an even better method to do this, I'll tell you. But I'm telling you the, uh, the the longer method. So if you're going to the longer method, what you will do is this. You go temp equal to a root dot next node. So this will point to the next node from the current root. And that value will be given, that address, sorry, will be given to temp. So temp will be pointing to that particular memory location. So while temp dot next node is not equal to root, you go and increment this uh, this this pointer and you go to the next node and and continue until you reach a node whose next node is root. Okay, and you stop then. So then you get uh, obviously the next node is root and the previous and you're at the previous node of the root and then you do temp dot next node that is the pointer to the next node should be changed to this is basically the root dot next node, right? temp next node is root so root dot next node simple and then the root equal to current dot next but this is redundant and uh, I think this could be better implemented if we do this if I com if I comment this out and uh, well let's see what happens if I do this I'm not sure I never tried this out so don't blame me if it doesn't work oh well 
scratch that it doesn't work because uh, I just realized that we don't have a pointer which points in the opposite direction because this is a basic link list which is pointing in only one direction so if you had an opposite direction pointer then you could go in the backward direction hmm interesting right and that's what we're gonna cover in the next tutorial that is a doubly link list a double link list or a, a link list with double pointers in both directions so that you can go either in the forward direction or in the backward direction and that's simple um, there, there's no other you know like a uh, big change in either of these because you know uh, <laughs> tell them to add this oh yeah in the last tutorial I forgot to put this that node uh, no dot number of link list negative negative minus minus obviously decrement because uh, when you're deleting something obviously the number of nodes will change because the nodes get reduced it's be it becomes the nodes the value of the number of nodes should be less than what it was before deletion obviously come on man it's it's, it's basic logic and as we have declared it is as static i mean this thing over here is static in the other class you have to use it with the help of the node class and not a node object so whenever you have static you, it, it belongs to the entire class but not a particular part of an object or an instance Oh yeah. So then you have the print function, which we did the last time. It's not a big deal. It's, it's using the do while loop. The, the only thing we did f different from the last time is, but I, I use the do while loop instead of a normal loop. You can just go through it and just understand. See, uh, system dot the print. This is the same thing. Arrow dot true. We did that last time. The same thing over here. But what I did different is current equal to current dot next node. Right. I reach. I, I, I execute this at least once until I check the next thing. Because if if I have uh, is equal to root, I suppose current is root and I want to print root so I print this simple right and then you go to next 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 and until you reach the current is not equal to root because it's circular right you have to go root not null remember that you go when you have a circular you go checking until you get the root if you want to print it one time but I did something different over here I printed like um, a few things and that is basically uh, the current equal to root and then we go through this and then I printed <laughs> up to 15 I mean I rotated this 15 times just to prove that this program actually works and it's circular, which means that it will repeat itself after every six or how many ever iterations you're doing and hmm, whatever. So let's just run it and see what happens. Um, running, run, and it yeah, it executes basically perfectly and no issues at all, um, as always. Hmm. Uh, three, two, one. I inserted three, se uh, three, seven, two, one. Sorry. Then three seven two one again, three seven two one again, and again and again, and in, I inserted four at position four and deleted position five, and similarly this. And if you want, you can do list dot print, and uh, this will print the same thing. Okay, yeah. Um. So yeah, see, um, let me delete this part, or else you get confused. I myself got confused over there. Um. Yeah, three seven two one, simple. And that's. The circular link list for you guys it's not that hard watch the previous tutorial if you want to understand more of this so thanks for watching um i enjoy doing this stuff um but you know if i don't get any subscribers and people don't like any of my videos uh, i will not make them well i don't really care if people like them or not this is for me myself and if nobody else wants it i'll make it for myself um if you do appreciate what i do you can share like subscribe and you know give me the love maybe that was inappropriate but whatever thanks for watching later guys intro